In today's video, I will be showing you how to add a trusted site in Microsoft Edge on your Windows 11 PC. So if you host your own website or you're trying to access a website and you're either getting blocks in the Edge browser or it keeps asking you permission every time you go on it, or perhaps it's not showing all of the content, then you can add your chosen website as a trusted site in Microsoft Edge so it will no longer be blocked or no longer keep asking you permission to go on it. Just remember though, make sure you do trust and know the website that you're gonna add because you don't want to damage your system. So to do this, all you need to do is go down to the Windows icon in the middle of your taskbar and then search for Control Panel and open it. You now need to click on Internet Options and then click on the Security tab. Then go ahead and click on Trusted Sites. And as it says here, is this zone contains websites that you trust not to damage your computer or your files. There is actually different security levels as well. So at the moment it's on medium, it tells you what the medium protection will do. But if you click and hold and drag the slider, you can go up to high, medium high, or go down to medium low or low, but just have a read through and decide which one's appropriate for you. I'm just gonna put it back on medium for now. But to add a trusted site to the list, click on sites, then simply type in the URL that you want to add. So if you have got this little box ticked here, this means that when you type in the website URL, you do need to put the prefix such as the HTTPS. It's just so it knows that the website is secure and you know that it's usually got that little padlock and it is a secure site. If you untick it, you can just simply type in the website without the prefix. So I can just go ahead and type in computersluggish.com and then press add. And then as you can see, it's now added the site to the websites list here and it has now been added as a trusted site. So go ahead and press close. But if you did want to check which websites you've added or remove them further down the line, then you would go back onto sites. Here you can see the websites you've added. And if you did want to remove it, simply click on it and press remove. But that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial did help you. If it did, hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.